Hello, welcome back to Highland Gear Review. This is Sal. Today's video is going to cover gloves. So what I have here is the QU Super Down Pro Gauntlet. The fingerless first light merino wool gloves. And the Brooks Range mittens. QU attack gloves. Old pair or new pair. Ascent gloves from Sitka. These are Expedition gloves from Kuyu and the Yukon Rain Gear gloves. So I'll just give you a view of all of them together and then I'll show, try each one on and show you the difference. So buying gloves on the internet it can be difficult because they have different size and charts. So two things I want you to do is measure the circumference around your, your knuckles and the length of your finger and palm. So I'm going to do that now. Um, so the circumference around my knuckle is about eight and a half inches. The longest finger to my wrist, I got seven and three quarters. So all these gloves are large and let's get started. So QU, UCOM, QU Super Down Pro Gauntlets. This is very excellent for cold weather, stationary, if you're glassing using a tripod, binoculars. They have finger holes if you want to pull the trigger while wearing these gloves. They're very lightweight, very warm. I used them last year on a, a go time to get me hands toasty. As you can see, they're very packable, excellent. They have silicone dots for Grip, very excellent choice for stationary uh, times. So this is the fingerless merino wool glove from First Light. Very handy to keep your hands warm around camp or have their Brooks uh, mitten. See here. I find it's kind of a little bit more fragile than the uh, Super Down Pro from Kuyu. So you see less dexterity. If you're just using binoculars, it definitely would work. Um, one thing to note is this came apart. I really didn't get much use, so it shows you how fragile they can be. Um, they're very packable. I think they're more packable than the QU Super Down Pro Gauntlet. Another excellent choice for lightweight stationary gloves. Moving on to the QU Attack Glove. It's one of my favorite gloves. I use it every time I go out. Um, very form fitting. One thing to know is once when they get wet, they do kind of stick to your hand. Kind of a pain in the ass to take them off, but as you see, this is a large, fits me pretty good. Excellent glove, one of my favorite pieces from Kuyu. I actually got a new pair in a weight to break in. And I have a Sitka Ascent glove. It's the only glove that I have that has the smart screen fabric so you can use your phone while wearing this. It's definitely just for concealment, like if you're a bow hunter, you want to cover up your whole body, this is definitely a good option. It's very lightweight, so it can protect your hand. And for active cold weather, this is the Kuyu Expeditionary Gloves. This is a large, fits me pretty good. Fingers have a lot of space. If you're like cross country skiing or anything active, snowshoeing, these are gloves you want. Like, they're leather palms, definitely keep your hands warm. Less dexterity. And I have the QU Yukon glove. This is a large, this is for waterproof glove. Uh, it has a waterproof liner underneath there. I can feel it 
at the tips of the fingers and I can't spread my fingers all the way. It's not a really big issue, but if the large glove, if the attack glove is too tight, definitely upgrade on the Yukon gloves. The size is just a bit off. I, I believe that's just due to the waterproof insert underneath. Very excellent, very waterproof. Good option. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, comments, please give me a shout. If you like this video, please like and subscribe.